It's Saturday morning, welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 121 I lift my eyes up to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. You will not suffer your foot to stumble. He who watches over you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. It is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of pilgrimage. In prayer I inclined my ear and my heart was stirred to seek wisdom. While I was still young, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. Before the temple I asked for her and I will search for her until the end. From the first blossom to the ripening grape, my heart delighted in her. My foot walked on the straight path. From my youth, I followed her steps. I inclined my ear a little and received her. I found for myself much instruction. I made progress in wisdom. To the one who sent her, I will give glory. I directed my soul to wisdom and in purity have I found her. With her I gained understanding from the first, therefore will I never be forsaken. My heart was stirred to seek her, with my tongue I will praise God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. In prayer I inclined my ear and my heart was stirred to seek wisdom. This is Philippians chapter 4, beginning at verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to the God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned for me, but I had no opportunity to show it. Now that I am referring to being in need, for I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and I know what it is to have plenty. And any, and in all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of having plenty and of being in need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. 
In any case, it was kind of you to share my distress. You Philippines indeed know that in the early days of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church shared with me in the manner of giving and receiving except you alone. For even when I was in Thessalonia, you sent me help for my knees more than once. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the profit that accumulates to your account. I have been paid in full and have more than enough. I am fully satisfied now that I have received the gifts that you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. And my God will fully satisfy every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The friends who are with me greet you. All the saints greet you, especially those of the Emperor's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with your spirit. Here ends the reading. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, that glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Tidium. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray today for our homes, for our family, our friends, our neighbours, and all those whom we love. Father God, we pray for those people who do not have a safe place to live and we pray for the homeless. Lord, we pray for those whose time is spent caring for others, praying especially today for child carers. Lord Jesus, we pray for those who are nearing the end of their lives and we pray for those whom we love and yet have seen no longer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, for as much as without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.